Hello Internet, uh, it's Ed with Slow Car Fix and I am trying to get some structure back in my 55 two-door conversion so I can progress with the metalwork. Stick with me and we'll uh, see what I can figure out. Alright, so I've been working on the tail pan section and it's uh, fun. No, it's not. Um, I've got this uh, floor pan sitting in here. I've got the car with the uh, sky hook connected to lift the, uh, the quarter panels up because when I take the weight off them, the spring perches sit on the floor because this is all crap and there's nothing holding it up. So I put in the body mount and the body mount is sitting there just for a spacer. I have this roughly aligned. I need to go underneath here with the death wheel and clean off a whole bunch of that crap undercoating. And I need to somehow be able to weld this to this. Um, I've got it set up to half lap in parts and then I have other parts where it will be a butt weld right in here. Um, lots of tech screws and I have Clicos. Thanks to all the people in the comments who said you should use Clicos. I have Clicos. I just don't have them out right now. Um, then I'm going to have to, once this is all in and in place, so then I'm going to have to try and get some structure in here somewhere because uh, this car, nothing is supported back here. And it has to be. And I was starting to play with the quarter panels, if you watched on my last video, the quarter panel sections, but I can't really do anything there until I have some structure here to hold the car up. And then I have to build a bunch of stuff in here. There's an inner panel in here that is just not even existent. So where it goes from here down to here, I have to make something. It's not at all going to be factory correct, but that's okay. Um, and then I have to, uh, work towards installing these quarter piece corner pieces and the tail pan that goes across there um, my goal for today is just to try and get some strength back in here by welding this pan in and doing the maybe some pieces on the inside we'll see how far i get Oh, okay, so this is the fun part. It's not fun, trust me, it's not fun. Uh, I think I've got this tail pan, not tail pan, this trunk section uh, where it needs to be. I'm gonna start tacking it, I've cleaned it up. Uh, the fit isn't great, uh, but it's trunk pan, I don't really care. It's uh, close in a lot of spots, um, but I need this to, I need this to happen so I can get some structure back in the car. And uh, I may, I'm only gonna get so much of it welded in right now, and the rest of it is going to get welded in um, later when I uh, pull the body off the chassis, because I'm pulling the body off the chassis, I've decided that. Uh, so I'll show you what I've got and, uh, and what I can build from. And, uh, and then I gotta start welding. Okay, so I have the tail pan 
fit up right here is pretty good. That's where it's butt welded, butt welded. And then I've got it half lapped here and half lapped over here and half lapped over here. So what I'm gonna do, I don't, I don't like this gap that's, uh, oh, hang on. I don't like this gap that's right here because it's a lot. So I may have to add some metal there, um, but this is pretty good, the fit up there. Uh, this isn't great. Uh, this will be okay because that's half lapped. I mean, you can see I've just got some tech screws in there. Uh, I've got the bolts and the mounts. So this should be where everything is supposed to be. Um, so I'm gonna start tacking on this side and kind of work my way across checking the fit the whole time to try and make sure that this is lined up the best I can and that I'm supporting it with the chain and moving it up and down as I need to uh, to try and get some strength back in it. There's not really gonna be any real strength back in it until I start adding some metal in the corners here and weld this up, weld these corners in. This thing is covered in this tar undercoating crap, um, but I've decided that I'm taking the body off the chassis once I get this strong enough and get this back panel welded in and get the quarters in and all that stuff. Um, and then I'll strip it all off on the bottom and I'll probably have to do more welding later. And I may even add some support in here because uh, there's not a lot of strength. Uh, there will be when I tie it in the side, but there's not a lot of strength right now. So I'll set up and I'll uh, get tacking some stuff in and see how that goes. Hopefully I got most of the undercoating out of the way. Uh, this isn't going to be pretty, but uh, that's okay. I'll work with it. So I've been welding, lots of welding. Um, yeah, it's coming along. The, uh, I gotta put some strength in the side here and the sides of each of the trunk sides before it um, will really have any rigidity at all because uh, when I let down the weight off the chain, um, it, uh, it just sort of folds like, a, like you would expect because it's just sheet metal and not attached to anything. So let me show you what I've got going on so far. I've got one spot where I've got to add some metal. I think that's gonna happen at a later date. And uh, other than that, most of it went okay. Okay, so of course I ground down the ugly welds over here and the pretty ones, prettier ones I left. Um, this is where I was saying uh, the fit isn't that great. So I'm gonna have to make a piece that goes in from underneath and tie this together. Um, this got a little ugly in here because the material on the car side was a little rough. Um, that wasn't so bad. I stopped right here because I'm gonna take the spare tire well out after from underneath and then I welded the other side. So it's welded in. Uh, it doesn't have to be because of the nature of this car and this isn't a perfectly restored whatever example. Um, I can probably just put a piece in here, just weld it in place, and that'll hold this all square. And then do the same over here, tie this in somehow, so at least it's sort of in one spot. Um, and then I will uh, bolt these down because this is floating right now. Bolt that down first, maybe. Get the car where I want, the elevation I want, based on the uh, chain hoist and tack in a couple of pieces on the side. Um, underneath, I'm gonna have more welding. Uh, I don't really like that this kind of went low in the, in the spot here, but once again, I'm not doing a concourse car. 
so I didn't get too worried about it. I'm really uh, uh, building something out of complete shit, so that's okay. Uh, it'll be good. Now to show you the mess underneath, you can see it's welded, 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 welded. Um, I've ground it down most of the way. It's welded over there. So what I need to do later, at a later date, is I need to weld all in here um, once I figure out where that's gonna end. See, this is all that undercoating that I set fire to, like, I don't know, a thousand times. And, uh, and then I'll have to do the same over there because it's welded on this side on the top and it'll have to be welded on this side on the bottom. And then when the car, later when the car is off the chassis, uh, I'll clean all this crap up. And once the floor is all welded in place solid, which it's not right now, I will, um, I will spray the whole thing with rubberized undercoat. Um, there's a lot, a lot of welding to do here yet. I'm going to have like, I don't know, 40 pounds or 50 pounds worth of MIG wire in this car. But that's okay, because whatever. Um, yeah, same thing here. I'll have to weld this side of it. I'll have to tap that up and then weld that side because this is where it's half lapped. I've welded it here on this side on the top and I got to weld it on this side on the bottom. Uh, you can see what's going on here. So I might be able to tack something there once I decide where I want this to this garbage here and then just cut it out later. Um, but I need to add a piece right here for now to uh, give me some sort of strength to tie this to this. Okay, so the pan is welded in and I have some pieces holding the support up. I've got good news and the bad news, I guess, is there's a lot of work in this car, but that's not a surprise. So let me show you uh, where I'm at with it. And then I'm going to decide what the hell I'm gonna do next. Um, probably more cutting, probably more welding. Okay, so I have the pan welded in. That's the good news. Um, the bad news is, um, I don't know, I don't really like it. Uh, it kind of runs down on the car and then this sort of valley, it valleys there. So, I don't know. Kind of is what it is. Um, I put in a piece here on the side and uh, welded that in. I have to finish this in um, and then I've got to make more pieces. I have to uh, I put in a piece over here and I have to uh, weld in more here and then this is all rotten at the bottom so I'm going to have to cut out a piece and make a piece that goes in there. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to take the weight off the chain, which I've done, and uh, lower the car down to see if how it looks on these uh, shock mounts, not shock mounts, spring mounts. So you can see now I have clearance from the spring perch. It's not resting on the car. So that's handy. And there's all the weight is off of it. Um, and where my new floor is up front is all sort of set where it's supposed to be. Like it, it moved a little bit when I lifted the back of the car up. Uh, so I was trying to be careful about that, but it's kind of where it's supposed to be. And um, I think what I'll do is like on the, this side over here, I obviously cut this piece off so I could, well, so I could fit the quarter on, but it also gives me access to work with this because there's a bunch of work to do in here. Um, I might do that on the other side too. Just cut this back corner off. I just gotta watch that I don't screw myself for trying to figure out where these pieces go um, on here. Because I could see that I could very easily screw myself and not be able to figure that out. Uh, maybe it's not too bad. I also, now that I have the weight off of it, I can cut that pipe out and put the deck lid back on with help this time. And then I can make sure that it's all going to close right and everything. I want to do that before I weld this back tail pan on, this, the tail pan that goes here. And before I really commit to, well, this is already committed, it's already welded in. And uh, I welded in the corner there and everything. Um, but I can always, if I had to, if this had to come down for whatever reason, it's all a guessing game. I could slice this and lower it down a little bit. But 
I had levels and squares and all kinds of things out, and there's it's not really anything to go off. So it kind of is what it is, and it's just going to be let's make it fit and make everything work. And this is why it's not a concourse car. Um, the other thing is like this is all fiberglass in here, so see they've just layered fiberglass on there. So I'm going to have to peel that off and see how much mess is actually behind there. Uh, there's a lot of work right in this trunk section before I even get to the quarters on the sides, which is unfortunate because that's the part I'm looking forward to. And uh, pinning them up with clecos or whatever and then uh, welding them in. But uh, I'm making good progress. It's uh, tedious. It's uh, messy work. But uh, it's, it's coming along. Uh, this is going to be a very long process, this car, as I know, knew already, but uh, yeah, it's uh, lots of crap going on in here. I have to figure all that out. Um, it's an antenna. That's kind of cool. Not really. And then the Wolverine gash i got to take out. Lots of work. This I'm going to have to pretty much rebuild because this is just garbage. Well, yeah, it's garbage. If it wasn't before, it is now. Oh yeah, look at that. Paper mache. Wow. I wasn't kidding when I said this was garbage. Look at this crap. That's like uh, rubber and tin foil. And Bondo. Wow. Okay, so that's um, cool. What does the other side look like? Oh yeah, just layers and layers and layers of garbage. This is the gift that keeps on giving this car. supposed to be there. It's not attached to anything. It's not really attached to the car on the inside. Isn't that fun? Well, that's a whole other world of hurt. And then there's a, see, there's a rubber piece in here that I'm going to have to get once this quarter is mostly off. This is, uh, yeah, this is great. What is going on here? This was a replacement piece at one time. Anyways, the further, look at this. That's going to be a nightmare. That's all gone in there. Yeah, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Restoration is fun, they say. Uh, sometimes, not this time. This is a really good example of why you just spend the money and buy a decent car uh, from when you're in Canada like I am and the choices are limited get a southern car preferably one that someone else has already brought up here because it saves you the hassle and the money of trying to bring it up yourself but um, don't start with this this is bad this isn't good uh, I will be in this car when I'm done more than it would cost to buy a good one uh, I'm okay with that because this, I don't do anything else. I don't party or play golf or any of those things. This is it for me. Um, so I'm okay with spending the time on it to get what I want, but uh, not a good car. Really not a good car. Um, when you're buying a car, buy the best you can afford. Um, I guess this probably was the best I could afford at the time. Unless I sold a bunch of other cars. So, uh, I guess I did what I'm saying, but 
not a good scene. Anyways, I have lots of uh, metal work to do and lots of welding to do and lots of grinding and cutting and I'm going to keep finding garbage and garbage and garbage until there isn't any. Eventually I'll get to a point, and I've had this happen in other projects, where you run out of crap metal, you have good metal left, and a bunch of new metal, and then it starts to go back the other direction. So it's like it goes downhill and downhill and downhill. And eventually you hit rock bottom, which I haven't found on this car yet. And then it starts to, you start to get to the point where you're putting stuff back together. And it starts to climb out of the hole. Um, not the financial hole, but out of the project hole. Anyways, I have uh, some other things i got to do. So I'm going to leave it here for now. And I'll have to come back to this after. And uh, do more cutting, more welding, more fitting, more guessing. Thanks for sticking with me. See you on the next one.